Have you ever heard of a continent ripping itself in two? Right now, deep in the heart of East Africa, Earth is rewriting its own map. This isn't a distant possibility. It's happening, slowly, silently, under our feet. It's called the East African Rift, and it stretches over 2,000 miles, from the shores of the Red Sea, down through Ethiopia and Kenya, all the way to Mozambique. Here, the African continent is splitting apart, not by war, not by erosion, but by the raw, geological force of the planet itself. At the center of this transformation are two tectonic plates, the Nubian plate to the west and the Somali plate to the east. They're gradually pulling away from each other, just a few millimeters each year. But over millions of years, those millimeters add up. What's driving this slow motion drama? Molten rock, rising from deep within Earth's mantle. As it pushes upward, it weakens the crust above, causing it to thin, crack, and stretch. It's a bit like a loaf of bread rising too fast, the surface splits open from the inside out. The land sinks. Valleys form. Volcanoes erupt. And in some places, like Ethiopia's Afar Triangle, new land is already being born. Cracks wide enough to walk into have opened suddenly, as if the ground just decided to stop being ground. Eventually, maybe in 5 million years, maybe 10, the rift will widen so much that the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will pour in. A brand new ocean will form. And East Africa? It'll break away, becoming a giant island, surrounded by water. Let that sink in. Today's bustling cities, deserts, and highlands, tomorrow's coastlines. Mountains will become peninsulas. Valleys will become seafloors. What was once landlocked could become beachfront. But this shift isn't just about geography. It's about life. Communities across Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania are already feeling the effects, more frequent earthquakes, active volcanoes, ground deformation. Nature is giving us signs. The earth is talking. We just have to listen. And while this process might take millions of years to fully unfold, it reminds us of something important, earth is not static. It breathes, it bends, it breaks, and it rebuilds. The continents we know today were once something else entirely, and they won't stay the same forever. So next time you look at a map of Africa, remember this, what seems solid is shifting. What seems permanent is not. We are living on a restless, evolving planet. And the future of Earth is already on the move.